friends, welcome back to Juanita's Delights, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Anna, and today we're making fricasse de pollo, or Cuban style chicken fricassee. It's pretty much chicken cooked in a tomato wine um, sauce that is to die for. It has potatoes, it has onions, it has peppers, it has olives, garlic. It's just so, so yummy, and um, it's very simple to make. It does require a few ingredients, but nothing too crazy that you can find anywhere. I have my bracer here. You can do this in a um, high side Dutch oven, but I'm gonna do it in my bracer today. And of course, these are not all the ingredients you're going to need for the recipe, but we're gonna start with the basics first. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heat. Oop, that did not turn on. There we go. We're gonna turn on our heat to medium, and now we're going to work on the chicken. Here I have some chicken thigh. I have some um, skin on bone-in chicken thigh, and I also have some skinless, um, boneless chicken thigh. You can do drumsticks and chicken thigh. You can do just drumsticks. I wouldn't recommend, um, um, what is it? Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. Chicken breast, there we go. I wouldn't recommend chicken breast for this recipe because the chicken breast is too dry and it's just, it's not gonna come out as good. So chicken thigh, and I'm using a mix of both because that's just what I had. And I refuse to go to the store and pay $9 for chicken thigh to make this recipe when I had like already a mix of like little mix and match at home that I can absolutely use. So whatever you have on hand, go ahead and use it. Listen, grocery is too expensive right now and we don't have the budget to be going out and buying um, all these things for. Um, to film recipes when I already have some at home that could work. So in here, I just mixed in my dry cilantro, oregano, and ground cumin. And I am going to simply sprinkle this all over my chicken. But I'm not gonna use all of it because I do wanna save a little bit for the sauce. I'm also going to do a little bit of um, sazon adobo goya. You have to be a little careful with this one because this one's a little salty. So we don't want to add too, too much. And in case you wonder what it looks like, this is what it looks like. I like to buy the one without pepper, but whichever one you have will work. And then I do like to do just a pinch of salt. And then my mom never did it this way. She doesn't usually cook the meat and then add it to the sauce like I'm gonna do it. But I find that when I do it this way, oh, the flavor you get from like, the little bits in the pan, I, I just love it. And then I am going to add in some lemon juice. I usually like to do lime juice, but this is what I have, and this is what's gonna work. And this is going to help tenderize the meat a little bit more. Now I'm going to pretty much do the same thing to the other side. Now, if you had plenty of time, I would recommend you marinate the meat. Um, the night before or a few hours before it just provides obviously more flavor, but um, That wasn't the case for today. So just you know a little bit of seasoning It's gonna work out. It's gonna be just fine Okay Just like that and then because you're wondering full written recipe on my website and it's the lights recipes.com and then you're gonna have the whole list of ingredients and all the step by step um, written down. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to my bracer, and we're just gonna get these cooking. All of my little chicken thighs are in. Now we just want to get a really nice sear on this. So I think I might bring my heat to medium high so we can get a beautiful sear. I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'm gonna show you what you are looking for. After eight minutes, you're gonna have something that looks like this. So you can see here. As you can see, my chicken is perfectly seared. Um, the chicken is not cooked through at all, and that's not ex that's not what we want at all. We just want to create some beautiful. You see all these like little bits on the pan. This is going to create so much flavor. You don't even understand. It's going to be so yummy. So now to my same pot, I am going to add my green peppers, red peppers, my onion. Okay, I'm also going to add 
the garlic. I normally don't add the garlic with the rest of the ingredients, um, the veggies to make the sofrito, but it's happening today. I just have to make sure that I don't burn it. After about five minutes, you're gonna have something that looks like this. As you can see, the onions and peppers and everything is very nice and tender. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the spices. Remember, um, cilantro, oregano, and cumin. And I'm also going to add a little packet of the songoya. And this one has coriander and annatto. And we're just gonna, oh, yes I did, oh, yes I did. I'm gonna sprinkle that in, give it a quick stir. Now we add a little bit of wine. In the red recipe, you're gonna see that I, that I have a little more wine than what I added, but I'm counting calories and I cannot afford more wine than this, but of course, like I usually make it with a little more wine, but for now, I'm just gonna add just a little bit as long as I get the flavor. I'm okay with not adding as much as I normally like to add, but you know what? Sometimes we gotta make sacrifices and the flavor is still gonna be there, so it's gonna be fine. So I'm just going to add in about half, yep, half a can of some tomato sauce. You can add a little more if you like, sometimes I do, but again, today I can afford it, so I'm gonna add about half and I am just going to let to cook for about two more minutes. I'm actually going to add in some fresh cilantro as well. And I'm just gonna give it a quick shot with my hands. There we go. Stir that in. It's been two minutes. I can no longer smell the alcohol from the wine. So I think it's safe to proceed either way. The alcohol is gonna cook off. Um, because this has to cook for a quite a while. So I am going to go in and add in the chicken. Make sure you add all those beautiful juices. Don't you dare throw them away because that means that you're gonna have tons of flavor in your dish. So we're gonna add that right in. I like to make sure and they coat it pretty well with my little sauce here. Now the chicken is in. We're going to go ahead and add some potatoes. You can add pretty much any potato you like, really doesn't matter. Okay, add your bay leaf and I am going to add my water. You're gonna need about three cups of water. Just like that. Easy peasy, beautiful. I like to make sure that my chicken is somewhat submerged in the water. Now, we are going to cover the pan, bring the heat to medium low, and I'm going to let this cook for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. It's nice and tender, the water evaporates a little bit more, and then we're going to add olives, and that's it, we're gonna be done. My fricasse cooked for 35 minutes and then I uncovered it, brought the, the heat to medium and I let it cook uncovered for about, it's been cooking for about five minutes, just so it was too soupy so I wanted to get it a little thicker. So now I have my olives in here and I am just going to add them into this beautiful sauce. I'm going to mix it around just a little bit. I like to add it right at the end. You can add it a little bit early on. And it looks, I do like to add a little bit of that delicious um, olive brine. But this is pretty much it. It looks so good. It smells so good. Oh, it's delicious. So now it's time to serve. I have a little bit of white rice here and I am going to serve myself some of this delicious fricasse. I think I want this tiny little one here. It looks so yummy. Now, of course, we need to add some of this potato, some of this beautiful sauce right on top. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy. I think that should be more than enough. I am salivating, this smells so good. I have to take a little detour and go take some thumbnail pictures. That's why it looks a little bit messy, but I promise I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's gonna be so yummy. 
I'm just going to use this fork here. Look, I don't know if you guys can see, but look how tender the meat is. Now it's time to try this. Mm. So good. The amount of incredible flavor this has. Like I could eat this every day for a month and I wouldn't even be mad about it because it's that yummy. Mm. This is the best fricasse de pollo you will ever eat and I bet whatever you want on it because it is so yummy, so simple. Make it tonight, you won't regret it. Remember, read a recipe on my website, anitatelicerecipes.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye.